الخير ومرحبا بكم جميعا في برنامج نداء لصوت كل امراه عربيه والرجل المهتم بجزئه الاخر. واحده من اكثر الظواهر المنتشره في البيوت العربيه حاليا هي عروض المسلسلات التركيه. واحنا اليوم مسرورين وفرحانين جدا ان معنا واحده من اكثر النجمات شعبيه. أرجوكم ترحبوا معي بالمرشحة لجائزة أمي الفنانة توبا بيوك أستون شوفوا معي توبا بيوك أستون لقبت بمحبوبة المسلسلات التركية مؤخرا لعبت دور إلين في مسلسل العشق الأسود اللي حقق نجاح كبير ودورها بالمسلسل تم وصفه بالقوي المستقل وتخطت كل الحدود جن جنون المعجبين عندما اغرمت توبا بالممثل اونر سايلك وتزوجوا الاثنين في باريس عام 2011 في العام التالي اصبحت توبا ام لتوام بنات توبا اليوم تحقق شغفها وهي سفيره للنوايا الحسنه لدى منظمه الامم المتحده في تركيا مغامره جديده في حياتها Eğitim imkanına ulaşan Suriyeli çocukların sayısında ne, her ne kadar her gün artış olsa da e, bu konudaki ihtiyaçlarımız hala çok büyük. E, ve eğitim bu çocuklar için en önemli ve öncelikli e, konu. Bir gün savaş bitecek ve ülkelerine geri dönecekler ve ülkelerine geri döndükleri zaman hepsinin hayalleri var. Rahabu, mai, fi al-fannana, al-hilwa, al-mahbuba, Tuba. a whole bunch of questions for you <laughs> but I feel like throw it all I want to say how happy I am to see your hair so wonderfully short Thank what you. made you decide to cut uh, it I don't know it was just sudden I was in uh, New York and I just went into a coiffure and then I just cut my hair I love it <laughs> Thank I you very love, much. I love I love it <laughs> thank you how does it make you feel uh, very light <laughs> <laughs> Super light. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. Why do you think you're so popular in the Middle East? I don't know. I just um, love the job, what I'm doing right now. And um, I think people can feel it. Yes. yes. Just from the screen. I think that's that is why. True. That is true. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, also... In your popularity is not only because of the roles you played, mm -hmm. which are very important. Your impact, I don't know if you know that, has also um, introduced a new meaning for beauty, of a new meaning of beauty for women, mm -hmm. which is to celebrate natural beauty. I'm really glad <laughs> yes. that I'm hearing this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. it's it's nice because the um, I think beauty is about something very interesting, very uh, really not beautiful you have uh, yes uh, to to make people watch i like that i like that it's like i have big nose and i was like i want to keep my big nose it's imperfect it's okay yeah I <laughs> is that what you mean <laughs> oh, it's big. but is that what you mean that yeah, the beauty yes, is yes. in the perfect yes. and then if not perfect. Uh, there someone comes and uh, if she's very beautiful or he's very handsome uh you just look and then you need to turn because there's nothing to watch. But uh, if you have something really not beautiful, you need to watch and you need to understand. Beautiful. I really, really nice that. I actually say the beauty is in the imperfection. Yeah. That's what you're saying. I think exactly. So. Yes. yes, yes. Beautiful. Okay. So when everyone heard in the Arab world that you married uh, your beautiful husband, your wonderful husband, Unar Sailak, mm -hmm. they went crazy. 
<laughs> wow. You are a beautiful and romantic woman, and he is known as a, a wonderful and romantic mm -hmm. man. How? Tell me about your romances. What, like, you've been married for a few years right now. He always tried to make some surprises and uh, nice things that I like. Uh, I don't know, very little things. And, and he's a really good father, and this is very important to me, uh, yes. like all the women, yes. I think. And yes. When, I, when you <coughs> had your first twin children, um, I heard that you took off a few months, both of you, from work, and both of you took care of mm -hmm. the babies alone, with no support? No. Wow. No. Well, even, not even my mom. <laughs> wow. No. Nothing. Nothing. Eh? We just wanted to be alone for a while. And how was it? Chaos? Or it chaos? wasn't easy. Okay, I need to confess that it wasn't easy, but uh, it was really fun and it, it, it feels really nice. Because you made it all, like cooking, cleaning, diaper, everything. everything. Mm. Him and you. Yes. That's really, really wonderful. How do you guys pr uh, protect your privacy? And, and considering that both of you are uh, well we known. We have a really normal life, mm. actually. We live in an apartment mm. and we have like, uh, we have a dog and Very children nice. and uh, Very nice. we are walking to go to a market and uh, and everything is very normal very nice very 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 nice and uh, people around us they know it and and so and so pe your friends and family also support and protect your privacy yeah to have a normal life yes we're in a time where there is um lots of wars going on in the region the syria war the refugees yeah. come mm -hmm. both as tuba the person that you are as a mother and as the UN, you know, the Goodwill Ambassador, what's your message of hope to the to the women in the region? Um, I met a lots of women in the camps. Mm. They were so much strong, like a tree. Nice. And um, seeing that it's really, um, I don't know, it's it it feels. Very, um, I cannot even try to explain. Uh, I really affect women like to be in that way because uh, they make children and they make a house, a home, uh, and we can do anything, mm. anything we want, uh, anything can happen, but uh, we can stand like a tree in a light. Your role as the UN ambassador, goodwill ambassador to UNICEF, um, what is the purpose? I mean, is it to raise awareness? Is it to increase aid? Is it... Uh... Um, actually, we have a project called uh, Lost Generation about all these kind of things, like uh, mm -hmm. children cannot go to school or... or uh, something like that, uh, like um, most of the children um, have no mother or father mm -hmm. or um, brothers or sisters died. We, we try to make them feel safe and comfortable and go to school again and um, have a ordinary, trying to have an ordinary life. I think part of the things, my personal opinion, why you inspired many uh, women in the region is because they see um, a woman who has brown skin, <laughs> beautiful Muslim woman, I believe, a Muslim woman, and who's saying, I am strong, I am beautiful, mm -hmm. I'm a mother, I'm a, I'm a yeah. wife, I'm an actress, I can do it all. Mm -hmm. And that's just by you being you, I think that is what you're inspiring oh, many you other women. Thank truly, you truly, 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 truly. Fun, fast questions we're asking. What is your favorite place on earth? Uh, Paris, I think. Nice. Yes. Favorite time of your life? Now. I love that question. I love, I love this. Fantastic. <laughs> Priceless moments or memory? Sleeping with my children, I think. Beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. <laughs> okay, who inspires you the most? Who? Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. You're right.
Yeah. Yes, fantastic. Uh, favorite dish to eat? Mante. Mante. Mm. I like it as well. Yeah. Very delicious, <laughs> yes. Favorite thing about yourself? What do you like the most about yourself? Being honest. Meaning, oh, wonderful, being honest. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. What's your favorite thing about being in love? Um, feel like you can breathe. Favorite guilty pleasure? Eating really oily things. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite saying? In a song in Turkish, mm. it says, um, you are in the circle or not. Beautiful, really nice. I hope you come and visit us. Thank you. All of the Arab world knows that you know that you are loved, 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 and I can understand and see uh, why. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you.